Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and I really want to just say guys before we get started, I appreciate everybody who's uh, subscribed and gave me comments on my last video that I put out on how to initiate fights with Scent. Uh, I am trying to make more videos just like it for Scent players, I really want to grow the community, and I actually enjoy this character a lot, so that's another thing. Uh, but yeah, guys, we're just going to get into this video and basically explain how to use Centurion in terms of mix. Uh, we're going to go in from the basics to a little bit more advanced stuff for all the players that have already been using Scent. I am trying to more cater to the player base that is kind of on the newer side to him. But yeah, guys, this is going to be the video on how to basically start off with his mix. So if you guys are new to that and you guys want to learn more, appreciate everybody who's in the comments. Just you know say something to me if you feel like there's something i missed or there's something i should have elaborated a little better on not gonna lie i <laughs> first time making a video like this uh, my last video was a little more easy for me to go through but yeah guys we're gonna go right into training mode and then i'm gonna show you guys how to get started all right guys so we're in training mode now uh well, now we're gonna kind of cover all the basics uh to also the little bit more advanced stuff and try to get an all around feel on how to use Scent's mix. I'm here to help everybody, especially people who are new to Scent and want to main him. I really love this character and I feel like a lot of people should be giving him a chance. Uh, he did just get a pretty decent buff uh, having a new dodge attack, so it's pretty interesting now having this dodge attack. It's, it's not that bad. Uh, it is light, so you can get a light parry off of it. That's the one crucial downside to it. It's really not fast enough to like you know avoid that from happening a lot but it is also random because most people don't expect it with scent but yeah like i said we're gonna get into the basic part first so we're probably gonna start off with the most basic thing which is everybody should know this uh every character in the game has it it's the being able to faint your heavies into guard breaks so with scent this is especially useful because you can get a charge heavy if you go in for full heavy um his charge heavy is a good feintable too because it gets people a lot uh actually landing the charge heavy will lead into a punch which will also give you punch mix which we will talk about in a little bit here but punch mix is going to be uh one of the main focal points we're going to focus on but yeah make sure to you know kind of get used to doing feints with scent because that's basically all his mix his mix is completely being able to feint heavies or faint punches or faint uh his unblockable uh unblockable heavy so uh if you see here now i'm gonna show you something really fast uh this is probably one of the better ways to use your faint heavies besides you know being fully offensive you, you can actually become very defensive with this uh if i could just find it okay yeah no that's, that's not right hold on Uh, which one? Sorry guys, <laughs> Orochi's a weird character to me. I don't really use him. There it is. Okay, so yeah, if you faint your heavy and time it correctly, of course you're gonna be hoping that you bait the opponent with this. Uh, but yeah, you can basically get a free light berry off of it, especially with Orochi's uh, dodge attack. It doesn't work on every character, but most characters that have a dodge attack, it's it's gonna work on. Uh, and like I said, you can go into a lot of mix after even landing this. And right there too, I don't know if you saw that, I cancelled into a GB after doing my punch. So if you do that, you'll actually stop dodge attacks from coming out. That's one of the big things that scent players need to know how to do. Because it's the one way you can stop these dodge attack spams. And I know as a, a scent player that plays them a lot, <laughs> that getting dodge attack spammed is horrible. But this is a... A quick little segue we're gonna go right into the punch okay so the punch mix is pretty good but it does drain a considerable amount of stamina you do get a lot out of it though you can get this full combo but look at my stamina was very low at that point but realizing this uh this the punch mix is gonna give you a lot you can go into two punches you can go into a guard break after the second punch you can go into an unblockable heavy and start mixing that way as well uh his punch mix leads into a lot but it does drain your stamina so i would say like use this maybe like three punches at the most especially if you want to throw in like the other punch which is the, the charge heavy one 
uh, the charge heavy one can actually be fainted as well so if you faint it correctly you can actually GB right after it and it normally works on people who are really dodge spammy you know they want to like get out of the way of the punch so you can actually bait out a lot of stuff with it it's, it's so yeah that's pretty much the main part right there for the punches um, probably go into that a little bit more actually <laughs> but I, I just really want to get into this unblockable heavy pressure because that's going to be one of the main things you're going to know how to do uh, is unblockable heavy will actually probably be the most successful mix that you're going to have as a centurion player uh, you're going to be able to really get a lot of pressure out of it you can even soft vein into the regular heavy uh, it, it works a lot on people especially people who you know try to um, parry your heavy so as soon as you see a red light or the red little arrow pop up it's gonna work really well but uh kind of segueing into this next mix we're gonna talk about here is uh the kick uh, i don't know if you've seen my last video how i explained the best way to initiate a fight but using a kick is probably one of the most number one ways new scent players start uh so the kick can actually lead into a lot you get a lot of damage off of hitting the kick as you can see here but like i said with the punch uh it will be stamina draining you will be losing a lot of stamina on a lot of basically most of sense combos but if you can successfully land all of them you will be doing a considerable amount of damage so yeah just remember to use that unblockable heavy uh counter sorry not counter uh cancel into gb and even landing it too will do a lot of damage uh, but it is side dodgeable so you have to keep that in mind so if you cancel into like a light like that it's it's really gonna probably way more in terms of actually punishing the opponent uh because lights do kind of track sometimes especially if the dodge attack is really early uh it will track but yeah that's basically like most of the mix you want to know how to do uh, I explained that the dodge attack in the game is it's here and it really doesn't have too much to offer I mean you can cancel into other stuff and then dodge attack with it but it's slow so it, it won't really bring too much to the table it will help you get mix initiated but that's about it sadly it doesn't have iframes so you will be you know you will be smacked out of this if somebody throws out a zone or something that has like a good horizontal range it will smack you but uh other than that it's not that bad of an attack um another thing we can go over right now actually is the zone that centurion has so his zone is cancelable you can actually get pretty decent stuff off of it as you saw there it it does work pretty well when you throw out the full thing sometimes uh depends on who you're playing you know some people really like to parry everything so <laughs> i wouldn't say throw that out on those people uh, especially people who like to uh, deflect into stuff and that's not gonna work very well but you can counter i mean cancel the third hit which will actually give you a pretty decent amount of mix if you want to add something to that uh you can gb after it too you don't even have to do light attacks but it's it's a uh, it's a decent tool it, it has a good range that's probably the best thing about his zone uh it he kind of walks forward and gives you good range with it but yeah guys just keep this in mind like the first thing we went over is just make sure to use your heavy feints that's that's probably one of the best tools to just catch people off guard because a lot of people think that sense not gonna like cancel it or maybe he, they think that he's gonna cancel it so that way you can just throw an actual heavy out um punch mix make sure to keep that in mind guys just going over the whole video basically at this point uh actually landing that fully charged punch will give you a good animation you have to make sure to pounce immediately because if you don't this will happen and it's very awkward uh as soon as they get up they can actually attack you so that's not good for you at all so yeah just make sure to you know pounce as soon as you get the punch in because if you take too long like this, yeah, it's... And just keep making sure that uh, you know how to use the heavy punch feint correctly. It is a big thing. Uh, it will catch a lot of people, trust me. I played a lot of hours in Descent, and uh, you can get a lot out of it, okay? So just keep that in mind while you're playing him. 
and uh, I really appreciate everybody who's came in and like showed support to my channel even asking just simple questions like or giving me like some type of new notion I didn't think of like, I really appreciate all that that y'all have given me uh, and I really want to just keep helping out some of the newer players or people who just want to learn how to play scent I am pro uh, probably going to be picking up Magi soon I've been playing him a little bit but uh, I want to pick him up seriously I, I do think he's a pretty fun cool character he's not OP I mean he's he's kind of annoying but you know you gotta have a line somewhere but yeah Centurion guys uh, I'm gonna be dropping another video very soon on how to use him correctly in terms of um, domination so we're gonna basically have video actual game footage that time so that way I can show you guys more personally uh, I do plan on making a video for this one as well to show off the mix and kind of give y'all a real in-game perspective and also plan on streaming soon so that way maybe you guys can you know come in hang out give some more support to the channel and also you know i get to talk to y'all thanks for watching the video guys and please share like subscribe all that i appreciate all of you have a good day